So, you know Roblox Studio, the software that lets anyone create and publish Roblox games for hundreds of millions of people to play? We've seen everything from incredible hits to, well, let's just say games that make you wonder why people have this problem. I've been a Roblox developer with about eight years of experience. Hey, um, hello. And tens of thousands of hours sunk into Roblox Studio. And for as long as I can remember, I've always wondered, is there a way to make Roblox games on my phone? Roblox Studio has always been on desktop, so the answer is no. But recently, I stumbled across a Roblox game that claims to mimic Roblox Studio on mobile called Studio Lite. It looks almost identical, just shrunk down to fit an iPhone screen. The idea of snapping together parts and scripting on my phone honestly feels like a fever dream. So in this video, I'm going to put this mobile version of Roblox Studio to the test. And by the end, we'll find out if an experienced developer like me can create a functional Roblox game entirely on my phone. But before we do, I'm going to need a little bit of help. Let's go. What? Okay, listen, listen, listen. I need you for something, okay? <laughs> mm. Okay, so I am going to be making a game using Roblox Studio Mobile, and I want you to give me a suggestion of what to add. Wait, Roblox Studios on mobile? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you want me to give you a game? Um... Make it fun. Dang. Alright, I just loaded up Roblox Studio Lite. Oh my goodness, this indeed is Roblox on my phone. <laughs> this is indeed Roblox Studio on my phone. That's kind of insane. <laughs> I've been using Roblox Studio for like over a decade on PC and seeing this on a phone is actually really incredible. It looks like I can even move around with the joystick and everything. Uh, albeit it's a little glitchy, but that's still so cool. But yeah, we have uh, everything we need here. We got the Explorer, we got the Properties panel. Uh, this does use the old UI for Roblox Studio. And then we have some shortcuts like duplicating, copying, or uh, we got some actions over here. Uh, we even got some tools as well. Wait, can we playtest the game? Yo, we can even playtest the game too. That's so cool. Oh, and we got a toolbox too. If I want to insert this door, oh yeah, yeah, I got a door now. I gotta move this door closer to the spawn location. So now if we playtest it, can I open this door? Yes, sir. I can open this door. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I just opened up the script editor. Is this what the script looks like? Uh, so what am I going to do? I want to make a clicker simulator. So the first thing I would do is insert a part. So I'm gonna insert a block. <laughs> And I'm just going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to rename this part if I can change the name property. I don't know, I'm confused. Where's the name property? The name property should be here. Oh, here it is. Okay, name. I'm just going to rename this to handle. Okay, so now that we have the handle, I'm going to insert a tool. So let's search up tool. There's a tool. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, cool. This is working. I'm just going to call this... Uh, clicker. I'm gonna call clicker. Move handle. How do I move handle into here? Let's see, I'm gonna do this. Cut, and then paste into. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna cut this, put this inside of starter pack. Paste into. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna hit play. Alright, clicker. Yeah, let's go. All right, this is where things are about to get really interesting. I'm about to insert a local script. Oh, what is this? So Studio Lite automatically inserts a pre-written local script when you insert a server script that needs a remote call. Oh, okay, so the, the server to client communication is a little different in this game, I imagine. I'm just gonna insert a blank local script. That's all I need here. Yo, we have, a, we have the script editor. We're inserting a, we just inserted a local script. Oh man, it's actually really hard to type on this thing. Why is the space over here? That's so weird. I cannot tolerate this, bro. <laughs> this is so annoying. I'm literally, this is like a few lines of code that I can whip up in like a couple seconds, but this is taking me minutes. <laughs> Does it save? Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it saves. Yeah, okay, okay. So I'm just going to hit play. Now, 
I, I want to be able to see this output. Oh, there we go. Clicked. Nice. <laughs> it actually printed to the output. That's pretty sick. Okay, uh, this only took me <laughs> like 10 minutes. Okay, this is honestly getting really boring. I'm still hurt by Archie's words when he <laughs> laughed at me by saying that Roblox Studio is on mobile, even though it is. Even though it actually isn't, but whatever. I'm gonna make a game so good that Archie's jaws will literally drop just like his balls. Huh? Sorry, that was a really bad joke. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to make a game so good that Archie's jaws are about to drop, just like his balls. Oh. All right, but instead of making a, a clicker simulator, I've decided that I want to make a game that revolves around using Roblox's physics. So there was a game I used to play back in the day called Falling Down Stairs, or it was something related to that, where you literally just fall down stairs and then you earn points. Um, for some reason, it was actually pretty fun for a bit when I was playing it as a kid, because I just think it's pretty goofy how your Roblox character can just like fling around and stuff like that. I always think it's a little goofy. Uh, so I'm going to try and make that, but with a little twist. I'm going to make it so that when you fall down the slide, there's going to be a GUI that appears on screen uh, where you have to constantly tap on it to apply force. And the more clicks that you put on there, then the farther that your character is going to fly off once it's off the, the once it's off the slide to try and reach a goal. I think that's gonna be pretty fun to make, so let's try and do that. I think this will be a great game since it actually has a goal. But before we do that, I wanna tell you about some goals that have been difficult for me to achieve during my time as a Roblox developer. When it comes to learning new things or expanding my skill set as a developer, such as problem solving, it can be very difficult to find resources that can really help me become more knowledgeable and competent as a game developer. So to help with this, I've been using a service called Brilliant, which is the sponsor for today's video. Brilliant is a platform that lets you learn with thousands of interactive lessons in subjects like like computer science, math, data analytics, and AI. The way you learn from Brilliant is surprisingly effective with their approach. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving that lets you play with the concepts. Learning a little bit every day is also crucial to remembering the concepts. Brilliant promotes this through daily lessons, <laughs> gamifications, and even leaderboards to keep you coming back to learn more. Some of the content I think you'll love are their interactive programming courses like Programming with Python, which specializes in teaching you how to code in one of the most in-demand programming languages in the world, but also in a fun, interactive way so you can start building projects from day one. Go ahead and try Brilliant for free by clicking the first link in the description, scanning the on-screen QR code, or visiting brilliant.org slash brawldev for a full 30 days. And if you like it, you can get a 20% off annual premium subscription using my link. Thanks again to Brilliant for the sponsorship, and now, back to the video. So, it only took so much time, I think it took me like, yeah, 50 minutes <laughs> to make this game. But, we finally have a finished product. Alright, are you guys ready to see the finished product? So, this is what I'm going to show you guys. Uh, this is a little game that I created. So, this is where you start, and the basic goal is to go down the slide, and you have a button that increments your power, and you want to keep spamming this, uh, until you fall down here and then it applies force to your character to be able to move uh, Over to that part over there. So you just want to keep doing that, but it looks to be a little glitchy um, so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no this uh, this obstacle course is gonna be impossible I think this is gonna be a really fun game and I think Archie is going to be impressed by it Alright, so I have now officially published the game, and now anyone can try this game out for themselves. This is the first game that I've ever created on Roblox Studio Mobile, so <laughs> now it is time to get Archie's reaction to see what he thinks about the game. I heard you got a game for me. <laughs> I sure do, I sure do. I poured my blood, sweat, and tears into this game, so I, I hope you're gonna- You're definitely gonna be in for something. I hope you're gonna like it. All right, there's the game link. I'll meet you inside. All right, where are you at? There you are. <laughs> Why does the bio say this is for Archie's eyes only? Why because... is there a winky face? <laughs> because it is. Welcome that, to my was... game. What okay. happened to the zombies? That were... oh. oh, 
Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, so I I was hacking away at trying to make a Roblox game on my phone, and it was absolutely horrendous. It was really awful. Uh, so I was like, to make things a little more interesting, I'm just gonna brain rotify this game just a little bit. And so this is this is what I came up with. Yeah, I can uh, I can see that. Okay, so the idea is, uh, you have this... Don't care. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 I didn't even explain it to you. Let's go! <laughs> is Bro. that it? Is that it? Uh, you can click for power, so that depends... It speeds up the slide. It, it speeds up the slide, exactly. And your goal is to reach that little green box at the end there. What is this skybox? <laughs> Why are we a mine crawl? <laughs> All right, I'm at 115. It's just a six skybox, you know? Oh, oh, it's great. It launched me backwards. <laughs> That's why too much power is not good. And this guy teaches people how to screw. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Sharp, I'm trying to reach the green box. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually yet this to- This game sucks! <laughs> oh my god, I can't get through the <laughs> game! <laughs> well, let's just say Roblox's physics is very unpredictable, so I think a little bit of luck is involved too. Let's just say you are the worst developer <laughs> right <laughs> Oh my god. I was about to say, one thing that could make this even better is if we had the whole server try and see if it's possible since clearly you can't determine if it's possible and I can't determine if it's possible. Fair enough. Alright, come then. Let's call in the children. Mind the bro, bro, look, look, look. People are joining. People are joining. Oh, look at all these people. Heavens. Bro, can you check my channel out, please? I'm suffering from depression. <laughs> <laughs> you do know I'm recording, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Well, what do you want me to say? <laughs> I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, man. Look at all these people who we just pinged. Archer S, I am your fan. Shut up. <laughs> like, I don't do think you, this game is possible, bro. Do you, do you actually not think it's possible? I don't think so, because that, like, in, half invisible block, like, blocks you if you're anything past 30. Well, no, it's not supposed to stop you. That's supposed to be the box that applies the, the power, basically. Oh, it's, it doesn't... Work very well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you said to make this game fun. Is this game fun? No. <laughs> you did the opposite of what I told you. I gave you like the simplest thing you could have made. Bro, you gave me such a broad thing to work with. Like, you can't just tell someone to make a game fun. I f can. <laughs> when it, when it's you know, Mr. Broadev, Mr. Famous Roblox scripter, you think you can give him such a simple task and he can get it done. No, no, he makes. Here's a Minecraft. Can't speak. <laughs> Just so angry. <laughs> Let's go. He's in I wanna the get, car. I want to get in that car. This is the game, though. Yeah, you want to get in Lil Nas X, no. don't you? <laughs> oh my god, I do. You <laughs> are. God, I want him to take me to Montero. <laughs> Wait, why is there- there's like a part that's extending. Where did that black part come from? <laughs> that would be me after- Oh my god! What the no! fuck? What is that? Is that his tongue? <laughs> you don't want to know what that is. <laughs> 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 oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. So that is going to conclude uh, me trying to make a Roblox game on my phone. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm sure everyone here who's played this game think that this is, uh, front page going, tier, wouldn't you say Going so first person. <laughs> Wait, why? Just stare at me through this crowd. Bruh. <laughs> uh, front page material? No. <laughs> nah. Nah, this <laughs> is atrocious. <laughs> Nah, I see what you do. Oh my! God. <laughs> I think this game could definitely reach front page. I think it's definitely worthy. Nah. <laughs> I, I think all of these other people can agree as well. I think everyone here would disagree. <laughs> Half of them have been calling it a f crypto miner for the last <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> all right, let me end it for you. Children, like and subscribe to the channel. Bye. <laughs> no, we're not keeping that. <laughs>